We have studied about integers and floating numbers and different mathematical operations on those as well. Yet another quite important numbers are complex numbers which we will explore in this lesson. You know complex numbers have real and imaginary part and are also represented as a plus b iota. In Python we define complex numbers as real part and the imaginary part and we use j in lower case to specify the imaginary part. If we print that, this is the format of complex number display. There is another way we can define the complex number by using the keyword complex and passing in real and then the imaginary part. Now let's see how we can input a complex number from user. You know we use input function for user input. Previously we used val or int or float to get the number input. For complex number we will use the keyword complex. The format user must follow is x plus yj. So it will be convenient for user if we specify the format in display message. We can apply different mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. on the complex numbers. Let's take in two complex numbers from user and let's check different mathematical operations on those. We can divide a complex number by a real number or by another complex number. Now let's see if we have a complex number we can xx its real and imaginary part. We will access real part as complex number dot real. This dot notation is maybe a bit new for you. Let me give you a little detail on that. Complex is a class and so as other data types like int, float, etc. A variable of a class is actually an object of that class. We have the second course where we will study in detail about the classes and the objects and will create our own classes. Here we are not creating a new class but just using an existing class. An object of a class has properties or attributes. They can be data attributes or function or method attribute. And we can access those attributes of an object using the dot notation. The object of complex class have two data attributes, real for the real part and image for the imaginary part. So we can access the attribute real as x.real and likewise the imaginary part as x.image. Other than data attributes, an object can have function or method attribute. Complex class object has a method named as conjugate. It is a method or function, so we need to put parentheses after that unlike dot real or dot match. This function returns the conjugate of the complex number. 4 minus 3j is conjugate of 4 plus 3j. Another very important parameter of a complex number is its magnitude. We have a built-in function in Python named as abs for absolute that we can apply on any number not just the complex number. For example when applied on minus 4 it will return its absolute value or the magnitude and we can use the same on the complex number. In lab session 4 we have three tasks on the complex number. This task which is task number 4 of the lab manual says that you have to find the magnitude of a complex number but without using the abs function. You know the formula of complex number magnitude as square root of real part square plus imaginary part square. So access the real and imaginary part of the entered complex number and find the magnitude. The task 5 of the manual is same as of task 4 but instead of using real square plus imaginary square formula 
use the conjugate function. If we multiply a complex number by its conjugate, we get the square of its magnitude. Then in the last task, you need to take a vector from user in the form of a complex number. You know a vector on xy plane can be represented as a complex number as x plus iota y. Your task is to display the unit vector of the input vector. So that's all from this lesson. Thanks for watching.